Oh, what's going on, Remastered Nation and Toxic Gamers? How we all doing, man? Today, we got a lot of fellas mad, okay? And we got a lot of witch hunts going down. Suckers are not stopping. Everybody's beefing. And a massive beef just went down today that I want to talk about. I don't think you guys are ready for this one. I got a video that I want to share with you guys as well, guys. Like the video if you love your mama. Like the video if you love God. Let's go for five likes on the video, guys. But I want to show you guys this. So, apparently, Suggis have been putting PS5 Pro, the 30th anniversary bundle. You know, the, the biggest, the extravaganza. This, this platform right now is very well known for playing remaster games. And listen, man. I gotta be like the homie Dreamcast guy here for a second and hold the controller in my hands. I do play on the PlayStation. I do play on the PlayStation, but it seems like that we got nothing going on. Even on the Xbox, right? I feel like that at this point, Phil Spencer gotta buy PlayStation and he needs to release like Redfall 2, Redfall 3, bro. Like, I think it's gonna be better than Concord 2, though, at least, right? Seconds have been selling for $4,000. I've even seen for $5,000. I mean, what is going on, guys? <laughs> and then the homie Foxy games, he started like going on a witch hunt, right? And he started going crazy and he started exposing all the homies out there and says that he told his entire audience not to buy PS5 Pro and to instead build a $700 gaming PC. <laughs> Uh, guys, like, come on, man. Like, it's a YouTuber, man. He's a YouTuber, man. He's a journalist, man. Need the reviews, man. Like, damn, what we talking about? I mean, suck is gonna be suck is. And to be fair, though, like, I, I know I'm joking around and, like, this is, like, sarcasm. But I got no problem with anybody buying the PS5 Pro. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I got no problem. But, but listen, man, I do agree that it should have been... 550 it shouldn't have been more than 550 okay what are we talking about man this like is crazy right now and, and to get it here in canada it's gonna be 1200 dollars. i guess it can be a tax write-off but like damn damn what are we talking about right now and uh with the dreamcast guy you know like a lot of people are also going crazy as well <laughs> Also going crazy and and calling him out that he also ended up buying the PS5 Pro after saying do not buy the PS5 Pro. Uh, but but apparently he has not posted a picture of him buying. He just said let me in. Now let me in could mean a whole lot of things. Okay, it can mean a whole lot of things. Now uh, to be fair though, like jokes aside, I've even read like people say it in the comment section that he was just looking. To get uh yeah shout out to the homie solid malone for adding me in the situation there we go <laughs> there we go there we go uh if you guys do use twitter i would love to have you there okay uh, let me send you some no homo first of all but but you see like people are saying that they were on his stream or something like that and he was just looking to get a controller Bruh. I don't know whether that's true, uh, but but I'm just trying to be un uh, uh, like I'm trying to be fair here. I'm not trying to be unfair here, okay? So there is that. But even if he bought it, like damn, like who gives a damn, right? Like it's his money. He can do whatever with his money, right? But let's be objective here, right? Like it was just ten percent up. You're just getting ten percent upgrade. But if you want to buy, yeah, go for it, right? The homie King J came out says that to everybody that secured a thirtieth anniversary PS5 Pro bundle. Congrats, happy for you, nice. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about, guys. Be like the homie King J. Be like the homie King J. And with that one, guys, we're gonna get right into this one. Shout out to the homie Dreamcast guy. Roll it. What's up, gamers? Dreamcast guy here. And today, I want to try and explain something to the community, to Sony, to the fan base. I feel like that definitely exists around PlayStation. Yeah, yeah PS5 yeah. has been in a bit of an odd spot because of the lack of exclusives yeah. directly done by Sony. While there is second-party stuff and third-party exclusives like Helldivers 2 and Final Fantasy VII Rebirth that are not only good but definitely selling systems, yeah, I have yeah, been yeah. incredibly upset by the lack of PlayStation games mm. by PlayStation. Facts, and facts, I specifically facts. Specifically today, I want to talk about why I'm facts, actually facts, facts. upset about Horizon Zero Dawn Remaster. It's not just that it's lame, it's not just that it sucks, I actively think this is yeah. bad for Sony. Man, and like, and I'm the last person against, like, remasters, okay? I feel like that we should get remasters, we should get remasters, but at what cost? We should also get new games, dog. We should get new games, and then they can remaster every game out there on the planet, okay? They can remaster all the games and it hurts PlayStation, but I want to explain why. Okay. I hope you're having a great day, and if you could, please give this video a like and subscribe if you haven't already. Now, this is coming from a place of love. 
I okay. reviewed and beat both of the Horizon games. I gave them both 10 wow. out of 10s. I very much <laughs> love Horizon Zero Dawn. I love Aloy. I just think this universe is so unique and creative. No! But this... No! Say you swear to God! This remaster, it's pathetic. Like, look at this. This is the side-by-side -side comparison of the original version versus the HD-ification. Now, keep in yeah. mind... Horizon is already 4K 60 FPS on PS5. The original version, the base terrible version, is in my opinion pretty much identical. And a lot of people are already backing on this. A lot of these comparisons, people Damn. are saying that this looks. Damn, man! Like, what, bro? Like, what are we talking about here, man? Bruh, like, bruh. Now, I wonder, like, if there's gonna be a difference between a game like GTA 6 or not. I think there would be, but is it only gonna be, like, a 10% difference? Because right now, what you can do is, like, you can up the sharpness on your monitor and PC. Uh, or, I should say, monitor or your TV, right? And you can up the sharpness, and it's gonna be almost as though you're playing on PlayStation 10, right? Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. If anything, the more realistic art of it is almost distracting. I've seen some people say that this looks like a person wearing a costume in a negative sense. In fact, I looked and saw a lot of the trailers from the state of play are uh, getting dislike bombed to hell, but one oh, of them is man. the trailer for Horizon Zero Dawn Remaster <laughs> has 28,000 dislikes. I mean, people Holy. are pissed. Yeah, and I think it's yeah. partially just because this is such a tiny upgrade, and it wasn't just... Bro, like, like, bruh. Yeah. In this one, bro, like, damn. Like, damn. So you got PS4 on the left, PS5 on the right. No, I get it, though. Like, we're checking screenshots uh, in our YouTube video. But, like, guys, like, we're not living in the 17th century. We're, we're living in 2024. So what you see on YouTube is what you're going to get, give or take. I get it. Like, there's going to be, like, a tiny, like, tiny bit of difference. Like, the resolution, of course, when you get to play it at 4K on your own monitor, it's going to be a little bit better, okay? Or maybe it's going to be a little bit more than just better, okay? Let me just Bruh. put it that way. But it's not going to be a night and day difference. It's not going to be, like, a crazy, like, difference. What you're seeing is what you're going to get. What are we talking about? Like, damn! Man, this suck is crazy. It's a daytime robbery, man. Just done automatically. This is not the original assets being rendered at a higher scale. They've now done a couple interviews that there is a big staff that is working Wait on this. Wait for it. There is a Wait for it. I gotta show you this. Sony employees that is currently actually developing this, making it so that not only does it have better lighting and better resolution yeah. and stuff like that, they actually re-recorded lines. They re mocap stuff. This is a major project being done by PlayStation. And I think a lot of people are annoyed because... This feels so wasteful. Like, these side-by-side -side comparisons, in my yeah. opinion, they're barely noticeable at best. Like, Yeah, I, I don't even believe it when they say they have done uh, redone the dialogue, redone, like, uh, the all the animation, or whatever he just said, right? Like, uh, yeah, like, I don't believe that. Like, okay, even if you've done it, like, bro, we're not noticing a difference, so why do it? Why do it? Like, damn, why do it? Man, what the hell? Like, maybe they're slightly better, but in a lot of these cases, like, they damn. look identical. Or, or if there is a difference, it's a difference in art style more than, like, fidelity. Uh, this is the studio art director at Guerrilla Games who's been working on the project, and he says, We brought over Aloy's model from Forbidden West. We've also reworked the character lighting there to match go. the look of Horizon Forbidden West, which undoubtedly is a good-looking game. We've improved skin tones, hair sheeters are improved, the slight blurring you see between the PS4 and PS5 screenshots is because the PS4 image has motion blur turned off, so this version will be even more crisp. But I gotta admit, this, in a lot of these cases, it almost feels oh like a downgrade. God. Yo, this right here it almost feels like that it almost feels like that in the remastered they took out like this section completely bruh i mean bruh. bruh the remastered version may be more realistic but this is more stylized this blue mm. on red looks better in the original this Facts. stark shadows Facts. coming through this mist here these Facts. sunbeams this objectively looks better even if this is more realistic more lit mm. the fires would not be shooting out this red glow I'm also, in real life, not going to be seeing a giant robot octopus that's destroying the world, you know? Exactly. This yeah, doesn't yeah. have to be real. Okay, so far, this video is pretty based. Like, I have to say, it's a pretty based. Pretty based. It has to be good. I was talking to some friends last night. We were in, like, a voice call, and we were talking about the Horizon remaster, and a lot of them predominantly play on PC, and they were saying, 
are you going to buy it? Are you going to review it? You love the series? Are you going to go back? A lot of them were also saying that this feels extra weird because they released Horizon Zero Dawn on PC not too long ago, and it already looks good and plays good. So even they who had played it for the first time recently were saying, what is the point of this project? And they start to say, what other games deserve this more? A lot of my anger really does stem from the fact that this is budget. Yeah, right. Like I, I would take uh, something. What, Horizon. Why y'all suckers need to remaster Horizon? And you know when we go back, why y'all suckers needed to remaster the remastered version of The Last of Us One? Bruh. Like it don't even make sense. Those games still look amazing to this day. Remaster something that is super old, right? And, and guys, once again, I'm not against the idea of remasters. I feel like the Xbox, PlayStation, these suckers can remaster games and then price tag them appropriately. But at the same time, we need new games. If there are, I mean, I, I should say it this way, right? Like we're getting new games, but I should say we should get good new games. Okay, how about, how about yeah. that? We should, okay, as long as there are good and new games, then we can get remasters we can in fact like throw remasters out like left and right we need remasters yeah just throw all of them out but like when i say throw i don't mean like throw like in a garbage i mean throw as in yo here you go here you go here you go you know just another one another one and another another one like remaster them but we need new and good games too what the hell is going on like why not remaster to be fair though, there are rumors that we're gonna get God of War 1, 2, and 3, the original, getting remastered. They are getting remastered. So I was gonna say, yeah, remaster them. God of War 3 still looks good, but God of War 1, 2, perhaps like Chains of Olympus, Ghost of Sparta, you know, the PSP games can be remastered. Uncharted 1, Uncharted 2 still looks good to this day, but I guess arguably they can remaster that too. But you know what I mean, right? Like, okay, and like remaster them. But more so than that, we need new, good, new and good games. But you guys are not even ready for this one. I want to talk about that too. Wait Jit, this is time. This is actual focus by developers that could have been better spent doing something like yeah, I don't know, this game remastering Infamous or if. Uh, oh, I agree. I, I remember playing this game. Don't know much about the story at all because I was a kid just playing to enjoy the game. And uh, Infamous, oh hell yeah, absolutely. Even if we're talking like Guerrilla Games, let's make a Killzone collection or a Resistance collection or. An Uncharted collection, like a Uncharted, remake of Uncharted yeah. 1. I've seen people talk about how they'd like mm -hmm. to get the old God of War games, which oh, I've talked yeah. about. I'm personally not the biggest We just talked about it. It's a fan of the old God of War games, but why? Oh, I'm a massive fan of the older ones. I would take the older ones over the new ones any day, bro. But I do like 2018 a lot more. Uh, the, the latest one, not that much, but 2018 God of War, very, very good. Even the latest one is good, don't get me wrong. I love all of them, but the original one, just special, man. It's like... Yeah, it's just special, bro. It's just special. Why can't we play those? Why are those just gone? You have to stream them from the PlayStation 3 version to your PlayStation 5. Like, actually make games that are inaccessible for the PS5. Like, that's mm -hmm. the weirdest part about this, is this game already works on this. It's already a PS4 game that looks good, and it already looks better on PS5. I yeah. can't believe the amount of budget they're spending on this. And, and a lot of Bloodborne <laughs> fans are just talking about how... It feels like it's bizarre that something like Bloodborne, if they even put in a little bit of work, if they yeah. port this to PC, if they... At this point, like, Phil Spencer need to buy it and release, like, Redfall 2, 3, 4, 10 on it, bro. Like, yeah, this thing is crazy. This thing is only good for remastering games and games like Concord, bro. Like, I, I swear to God, bro, like, this thing is crazy, man. And releasing new hardware that's not even that good. Like, don't get me wrong, the DJI look good. I, I think they can, perhaps, yeah, they can release these plates for 30th anniversary yeah like that's good 30th anniversary yeah let's celebrate it oh i don't mind that i don't mind that i think the having the the controller the 30th anniversary controller these plates are good but like see damn man like ps5 pro shouldn't be 700 dollars, bro like damn bro. they decided to launch this morning and the way they decided to do it in my opinion was incredibly stupid so today at 9 a.m in texas time anyways they began the pre-orders for the ps5 pro and also this special edition line right this is the 30th anniversary of the ps1 wow. so they're selling a bunch of stuff that's ps1 gray I really wanted to get a controller, and I did manage to grab it. Yo, what? Why? Okay, so I guess people were right. So, yeah. Uh, yeah. So, Dreamcast guy is pathetic. This is why I don't want to, like, throw hate at anybody's way. And, and listen, man, I, I, I got love for everybody, though. You know, attack ideas, not people. That's basically where I am. Uh, but, like, this tweet kind of blew up, and it was... <laughs> but, I mean, it's funny. I get it. It's funny. It's funny. It's, it's funny, okay? 
but i mean like it feels like that he did not buy the ps5 pro after saying maybe he secretly bought it and even if he bought it like to me i don't give a damn i understand when you're gonna say to your audience hey uh don't buy don't buy right saying i'm not gonna buy versus you guys should not buy is like um uh, and then buying of course like that's hypocritical absolutely i i get that uh personally i'm i'm gonna buy if gta 6 is actually good that's the only reason if gta 6 is actually like you see a very like noticeable difference on it then uh then uh then i'll get it you know what i mean but he apparently put let me in for to get a controller man he just decided to let the guy get control of it he just put that to get the controller you know what i'm saying so there was that but a lot of this stuff sold out instantly and not just on their own website, it sold out instantly on every website, including Walmart and Target and GameStop, and just all of it pretty much instantly evaporated. But I have to admit that I am surprised by how fast this stuff is selling out, uh, but it, it does feel like a scarcity issue in that... Uh, oh yeah, and this argument, right? Like, I do see this argument, which is valid, that, hey, if we come together and collectively, uh, like, not support it, it's gonna get better, which I absolutely agree with. But see, I don't think that would have worked with the PS5 Pro and clearly did not work because there are people buying it to resell it. You know what I mean? And of course, there's this conversation, the bots, okay? The people and Sikas have placed bots in place, okay? Sikas had bots that were automatically buying the PS5 Pros and then they put it on eBay for four grand, for five grand. And you know, shipping is not... Damn, man, these seconds are like, okay, let's just go for for 4,000, 4,000. These seconds cannot even provide free shipping, man. Bruh. I mean, bruh. Like, yeah, you feel what I'm saying? Like, that is crazy, y'all. Like, that's okay. You're gonna charge 4,000. Can a brother at least get a free shipping, though? Can a brother get <laughs> What are we talking about, man? Yeah, yeah, you know what I mean? So, in this case, I guess Sony made the money, right? Sony, that's all they care about. Of course, with Concord, nobody's gonna, gonna buy, so the scalpers is not even gonna, like, do anything about it. Because it's a video game, it's not gonna run out, you can always get it digitally. Now you cannot get it digitally. Damn, man, what a pause right there. But, uh, you know, yeah, like, now you cannot even get the game because, like, they removed it. The game was in development for eight years, guys, and the game couldn't even last two weeks. <laughs> Could you believe it? Could you believe it, man? Every company loves to purposely underproduce stuff. I mean, Nintendo does this very, very badly, but so does Xbox Sick is crazy, with their controllers, man. and now Sony is doing it just to make it so that, honestly, if you overproduce, it costs you a lot of money. You don't want to have, like, you know, 10 million consoles sitting in a warehouse, so they make too few of it, but I have to admit that the scarcity of some of these, like, peripherals especially, feels so dumb to me. Like, why can't you make 10,000, 100,000, a million controllers, right? It's just a different color piece of plastic. Like, I think after Concord, they were like, let me not do that. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, Concord. Remember Concord? Nah, man. But, like, we're talking a console. We're talking a controller over a game. Of course, the controller is going to sell more. But still, like, it's like a limited edition thing. I understand what he's saying. But he kind of answered his own question while saying it is that if they make it more, like, a million and... Uh, if it don't sell, then you know what I mean? It's gonna stay It's gonna stay in the warehouse. At least that's what I got from him talking about that crap. Only the shell is different, but here's the other part of it. So they didn't tell us when the release was going to happen. So people are just kind of scratching their heads and waiting for an official announcement. But then here was the extra part of it. Yeah. They didn't tell us the price. Yeah, yeah. I'm 100% serious. There we go. So Mr. Who's the Boss is uh, talking about like... Uh, not Mr. Boss for the win, Mr. Who's the Boss? Yes, come on, man. Uh, so 5,500. Okay, well, guys, like, I got a very good idea. Just, if you if you have a printer, okay? If you have a printer, if you don't have a printer, there are printers all around your area, right? I'm probably right. You're right. I'm right. We're all right, okay? Like the video if you love your mama, guys. But, but yeah, you can print uh, a JPEG. JPEG. Get a JPEG saved on your PC or mobile. And yeah, print that, guys. Print that and place it on your PS5. Bruh. And there you go, PS5 Pro. PS5 Pro. Yes. Before stuff. 30th anniversary. Went live. We're going to talk about these Easy. scalpers in a bit. They did not tell us how much the bundles, the individual items, they didn't tell us the price. That's why you see tweets like this that say price confirmed. Now, this bundle that everybody was trying to get the most, the PS5 Pro Special Edition, they're only making 12,500 of it. 
Bruh. and it was a $1,000 collection. So, Bruh. this was not just the console. It was a controller that looks good and a Elite controller. So, all bundled together, it is $1,000. I think it also comes with, like, a vertical stand. So, <laughs> it's already extremely expensive, and people instantly... Oh, nice! Nice! Finally! Yeah, here you go, Sony. Here you go, man. Here you go. Thank you for adding the... The stand in it too, man. This thing is crazy. So PS5 Pro 30th Anniversary Edition bundle is already being resold for 5,000. I wonder if anybody's gonna buy though. I think, of course, like, I, I'm not gonna buy. I'm, I'm assuming most of you watching not gonna buy. See, I'm saying most of you, because I know there is at least one of you that is an oil prince, that is a fan of Xbox, that got nothing else to buy this year, and they're like, I'm just gonna buy. <laughs> You know what I mean? Man, become a member on the channel, man. Help our brother out. We got like a like feed of my non-existing dog. We got a bunch of good boys out there, man. Come on, man. Feed the dogs, guys. Become a member, man. Like, damn, man. What are we talking? All right, let's get down to this here, okay? I'm not sure if you guys seen this video or not. If you have not seen it, then definitely don't watch this video. Do not watch this video. Whatever you do, do not watch this video. Check out the video on the left. Check out the video on the left, and I'll see you right there. Don't watch the video on the right, guys.